Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Dr. Ray. Today we're going to be entertaining a question that I get asked a lot, a lot, a lot, and I've been dodging it. I get it in emails, I get it in DMs, I get it in comment section, and that is, what about the Open Farm Epic Blends? Um, so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Dr. Ray. I'm a small animal general practitioner. I ask questions. I have this YouTube channel. I have a website where I have all kinds of tools and resources um, for you guys as pet parents. Um, I've got a lot of cheat sheets on different foods where I've hunted down the information and presented them to you in a nice chart. Um, and in on that website, there are some nice charts for some of the open farm um, foods that we have already done in the past. I also have a video um, playlist series of all the other open farm foods if you guys want to check it out. Um, I have not been really interested in doing the Epic Blends because I looked at them and they are very similar to all of their other diets. There is not a whole lot different um, in this Epic Blend line than any of their other, uh, other ones. Um, very similar and so you know what they're doing is they are, they are expanding their portfolio, they are marketing, marketing, marketing. Um, should I give you guys some new options and for whatever reason, um, you know, the other options of the open farm, um, if you watch those videos, maybe did not score exactly how you would have hoped that they did. For some reason, people really, 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 really want this brand to work. Um, they like what they stand for. They really, really want it to work. But at the end of the day, what you really have to ask yourself is, does it work? Do the numbers make sense? And so, um, we're going to see today if that's the case with these Epic blends that everybody wants to work. Um, so I hope that it does for you, but I am quite skeptical and that, that they will. And, but we're going to let the numbers do the talking. Um, we're going to use my pet food scoring system. If you are not familiar with that, it is a um, system that helps us make sure just the base bones of a food are good. And then we can start worrying about some of these other things that people fall in love with. Um, but we need to make sure at the core we're falling in love with the food and then worry about some of the bells and whistles. Um, that pet food scoring system is outlined in some early, earlier videos specifically on how to do that. Um, I also have a step-by-step -step guide for both the dog and the cat um, that is linked in the description box below so you guys can check that out. Um, it's a, there's a digital version available so you can just go there and just get it right away. Um, but I do prefer if you guys have the patience to get the paperback because um, there are some really good um, charts and places where you can take notes as well as like in the cat one, some QR codes that are going to link you back to some important videos for more knowledge. And so if you can hold out and get the paperback, I really feel that you would benefit from there, but you know, put some really wide margins so you guys can take notes and things like that. Um, and um, you know, really get into depth with your nutrition journey. So you can check those out. And then all my other resources that I have for you guys on my website, which is animaldocray.com. Um, you can sign up there for the newsletter. You can read my blog. You can get some of my free tools. You can get all of the cheat sheets there. Um, and you can um, have um, personalized pet food uh, scoring requests there as well. So if you want to follow along, we're gonna be doing a screen capture today and we are gonna run the Epic Blends through the pet food scoring system and we are going to see how it plays out. There's only three. So they've got the chicken superfood, the salmon superfood, and the beef superfood. So we're gonna start off um, openfarmpet.com, Epic Blends, and we're gonna start off with the Epic Blend Chicken Superfood. It is a dry food, you can see the kibble there. Um, what they've done is they did, it looks like a probiotic coated oven baked kibble and air dried chicken liver pieces and air dried chicken meat and morsels. Um, probiotic coated, a lot of times that is marketing. You have to be really careful with food and probiotics, just like any type of supplement. I did do some of the legwork and find out that Open Farm is NASC certified. Um, they do carry the NASC seal, NAS seal on their uh, foods. If you don't know what that is, I do have a whole video on probiotics and what you need to be looking for. Um, but that is a good thing. So I was happy to see see that. They don't get any points for that, but um, just wanted to point that out as we are going through the packaging and some of the marketing things. I think that actually is um, a good a good one. All right, let's start out with the nutritional statement. So they're saying the Open Farm Epic Blend Chicken and Superfood Recipe is formulated, so did not do feeding trials. They just used a... Um, computer to help balance their food rather than um, test it and feed it and things like that. So they don't get a point for there. Um, and it's for all life stages, including the growth of large size dogs. And so this is a major issue for me. 
Um, if we want our pets to be healthier and we want them to have optimized nutrition, and so we want their nutrition to be optimal for their body, optimal to where they are in their life, you cannot be feeding an all life stage food. Um, that's just you know that that's just the way that it is and so all life stage foods are puppy foods as you can see here they're saying um, this food meets all the nutritional requirements for a large breed puppy and so um, the nutritional requirements for a large breed puppy are very far from what the nutritional requirements will be for an adult and so when a food is an all life stage food I already know that their focus is not on optimization and so that's a warning sign um, for me and they are getting no points here on their guaranteed analysis because their food was not feeding child and they did not optimize it they left it as an all life stage food so two points um, two points are going to be gone um, right there the next thing that we're going to be looking at is the ingredient list and as we go through a first line approach the only thing that we're going to be looking for is to make sure that it is not grain free um, and to make sure that it is not raw. This is called the Epic Blend Chicken, and it doesn't say anything about rice or anything like that. I do not see um, on the short ingredients any type of grains. Um, so let's do the extended green gradient list. And um, they do have sorghum and oats, so those are considered grains, so we are good there. And they do have flaxseed in there. That's fiber source, but that is not gonna be good for us for um, our omegas because we want our omegas to come from cold water fish. We do have some white fish in there, so we might be getting some omegas from that. Um, I always think that it's funny, so if we close this and we go back to the short ingredient list, the ingredients they really want you to focus on. Um, they want you to focus on their humanely raised chicken and liver, and so you can, um, on my, one of my earlier open for videos, we go into what that means and how you need to be careful with that. Um, if, it, if you know putting too much assigning too much clout to that um, they do have some chicken bone broth in there non-gmo pumpkin and then they have to throw in that blueberries I feel like any food this is just for me personally and this is just a side note any food that is harping on blueberries I almost always get a bad taste in my mouth because that is like marketing school 101 for whatever reason in pet food um if we throw the word blueberries in there or show a blueberry in the package like they know they're automatically going to capture like an extra 10 percent people or something um because it's actually so so very silly when i went to conference um this past year and they were kind of talking about that in one of the um, supplement things and how you have to be silly you know how it's silly on some of these things and these superfoods that people are thinking they're supplementing um, especially blueberries and um, his mentor actually calculated how many blueberries that you would have to eat for it to do absolutely anything and let me see what he said the number was of blueberries you would actually have to eat you would have to eat three quarts per per animal per day blueberries <laughs> for it to do absolutely anything three quarts or excuse me three quarts per pound per day i was reading even reading my notes my notes wrong three quarts per pound per day blueberries for it to do anything and so there you know the the blueberry thing um you guys i just if you learn anything from my videos it's don't be fooled by the blueberries um, that might have been a bit of a tangent, but um, either way, they're getting uh, two points for the ingredient list because it's not grain free and it's not raw, but they are not getting a point because of the blueberries because I just refuse to do that. Um, so we got two points going into the feeding guide. We want to make sure that they are um, appropriately recommending to what to feed. Um, with an all ice stage food, it gets um, you, you can almost guarantee that it's an all ice stage food if they're trying to um, fit both puppies and adults into the, fein, the same feeding um, chart. And so um, we have to click on the right thing. So that's the puppy chart. This is the adult chart. Um, less active cups per day, more active cups per day. Um, so for a 20 pound dog, they're suggesting anywhere from three quarters to one and a quarter. And it's 420 per cup. 420 times 0.75. That is correct. 420 times 1.25 on the high end. That is correct. So they are going to get a point there. So we've got three points going into the guaranteed analysis. We're going to skip past that and we're going to click this link here, which is um, this nice little chart that they have. I really like it. It lays everything out for you. Um, nice and easy. Um, so protein at 32.99% is going to be um, in excess for what we want optimal range for an adult. 
the fat at 16.38 is um, optimized so they are going to get a point for that that's going to bring them up now um, to four points so if you recall we had two points um, for the ingredient list one point for the feeding guide and now they are getting a point for an appropriate fat level um, fiber at 4.4 they're going to get a point for that that's going to bring them up to a five and then because this is a large breed puppy food you can see how it's not going to be optimized for an adult these minerals are extremely high for uh, the adult i will pause here because i just realized that i did not flash the adult standards that we're shooting for so here are the optimized adult standards that we're shooting for and as you can see minerals are way out of range and so this um, Epic Blends is gonna stall out at a five, which I think is pretty much on par with the other open farm um, versions that we have already looked at. Uh, a lot of people like me to look at the vitamin E. There's no points assigned for that. Um, but if you look down here, vitamin E at 61 is um, not really giving you much of those antioxidant effects. Um, so they can say they have vitamin E in there, but what they are not telling you is that it is suboptimal and you're not gonna be getting really any antioxidant effects at a vitamin E of only 61. All right, so that was the first one. That was the chicken. Next one is going to be the salmon. So we're going to do similar fashion a little bit quicker this time. So definitely stay focused. Scrolling down. Again, a formulated and an all life stage food. So no points there. The ingredient list, we've got the token blueberries, but do we have, yes, we have our grains, our whole barley, yes, yes, yes. We've got some fish in there, so we know what maybe those omegas are going to be good um, and useful for our pets. So we're going to get two points in the ingredient list. The feeding guide, 414 kcals per cup three quarters. Yep. So we're going to be good on that. So we've got um, three points going into our expanded nutrient analysis. Protein um, is um, 14.75%. No, I think they've messed up here. Yes, they have. They've messed up this chart. Somebody can email Open Farm and tell them they messed this chart up. Um, all this stuff should be down one. And dry matter basis can't have a moisture of 33% because the definition of dry matter basis is that um, there is no moisture. So they just kind of typoed here. So all this should be down. So protein is actually 33%, which is too high. Fat at 14% um, is correct. So they're going to get a point there. Fiber um, at 4.62% is fine, and they're going to get a point there. And then let's go down to the minerals, which are astronomically even higher than the other one. So this is also going to start salt out at a 5, um, and then they've only got the 62 um, international units of the vitamin E, so not um, anything to write home about. Okay, had to get the battery charged, so we're back. Um, and we, so we were summing up the Epic Blend Salmon. It stalled out at a five, nothing special there. Um, and now we are going into the Epic Blend Beef. All right, let's see. So first thing we're gonna do is find that AFCO statement that is under the nutrition and benefits. And we are again formulated, and we are again formulated for all life stages, large breed puppy. Um, so no points there. Uh, feeding guide. We've got the three quarter cup to one and a quarter cup and the 420 k cow. So we are going to get a point there. The ingredient list, are we going to have the token blueberries? Yes, we do. Um, we've got some fish, we've got some beef, more fish, and then we've got our grains there. So it's not grain free, it is not raw. So we are going to get two points going in to the guaranteed analysis. Further down to their nutritional fact sheet. So you can see once you get used to this PSS system, you guys could do this relatively quickly and you don't have to be spending inordinate amount of times sifting through things and wondering things and questioning things. You use this method, you can weed out a lot of the less desirable um, foods because you can pick out which foods at their very core 
are optimized and which aren't and then you can start adding in some of the superfluous things so three three points going into the nutrient analysis and um, they've done this one correctly and um, they have that moisture zero there so um, over on the protein okay on the fat okay on the fiber and even higher 2.07 dry matter basis calcium that is very high and um, phosphorus at 1.4 um, calcium phosphorus ratio for those of you guys that like that 1.47 is even elevated calcium phosphorus ratio I don't pay much attention to that the absolutes are more important to me um, but even the ratio is elevated in this one and then we have our vitamin E at 65 which is still wimpy so again we're not gonna get much better than a five on the epic blends beef and so that was um, the breakdown nutritional breakdown of the epic blends beef so the bare bones um, nutritional necessities, um, we want seven or above on that. This is, um, all these versions are scoring a five. Um, if you like this method and you enjoy it and you think that it could help streamline your pet food selection process, I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out that video on how to do the PSS. Check out all my other videos so you can practice. Check out my workbook. Check out my website um, for the tools that are available to you guys there because I want pet food to not be stressful and I want you to be spending time with your pet and not um, torturing and toiling yourself over um, you know, what your pet eats. And so I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you will like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.